You know, there are calls for Cincinnati Councilmember Wendell Young to resign tonight. This all follows his remarks that caused the family of Kyle Plush to storm out of a Tuesday council hearing. Nine on your side, Tom McKee is here now with who's making the call and what Young will do. Tom. Well, the Plush family walked out of a five hour hearing last night, angered by Wendell, what Wendell Young said about them and their loss of the son, Kyle. Young today apologized for using words he says he knows were hurtful to the family and caused them to misinterpret what he was trying to say. I am extremely sorry that the language I used caused them additional hurt and pain. And again, I just want to offer my sincere apologies for that. Wendell Young's humble apology came Wednesday after remarks Tuesday night during a city hall hearing to prevent another tragedy like Kyle Plush's death. But there's no amount of money that's going to make you happy. There's no amount of that I believe that at the end at the end of the day. At the end, you've crossed the line. The remarks caused plush family members to storm from the hearing in anger. Young's council colleagues were embarrassed by the exchange. It was just awful. I don't know how else to to explain it. It was just a it's a it was a terrible, terrible thing. Well, I do understand the sentiment. I don't think it was the best thing to do. You have to be ultra sensitive and supportive of the family. And, you know, he definitely missed the mark there. The incident caused Hamilton County Republican Party Chairman Alex Triantafilu to make this demand. I think Councilman Young should resign. Young is a Democrat, but Triantafilu says the issue is insensitivity, not politics. And to have an elected leader in government make remarks that were so crass and painful, uh, you know, my, my, I was sad. I was saddened by the whole thing. I asked Young whether he would step down and got a very brief reply. <laughs> Another question. <laughs> In hindsight, Young says he regrets using the word money, leaving the impression that's what the Plush family is seeking. But what I was really trying to say is that no amount of apology, no amount of money, nothing we had uh, could ease the pain of having lost their son. Now, the Plush family simply wants to make sure that the 911 system and the emergency communication center problems are fixed so no other family has to go through what they've experienced. Young hasn't talked directly to the family yet to apologize in person. Tom McKee, live in the newsroom, back to you.